This is another story about Goliath and Bonnie at Northcote Heavy Horse Centre. This is a follow-on from the story about the Skegness Fire Brigade. We needed a crane and quickly. After you have followed the story about Goliath and the Skegness Fire Brigade, you will realise that we needed our own lifting system for that horse. Pretty smartish. Obviously one could not keep calling out the fire brigade and we knew that Goliath fell over at very unexpected times when we had no extra help available. Who did we know with sufficient know-how to help us? I turned to Andy and Steve from County Durham. They had originally visited the centre several years previously and offered their help with whatever we needed. At the time of their first visit, we needed a large ride dray to cope with 20 or so visitors and capable of being pulled with two horses, something safe and reliable. No sooner had we mentioned this than they came up with a plan. They would build us a dray as a gift to the centre, if I could give them some idea of plans, which I did. As you can see from the photographs, the result is simply magnificent. It was all new with Land Rover running gear and hydraulic brakes on the rear axle. It was like a dream come true. For Andy and Steve, it was something they were good at. Steel work, welding and fabrication. And hey presto, there it was. All built in Steve's workshop at Hetton Le Hole near Durham. I went up to collect the dray with our lorry, which they noticed had rust worm in the cab. So no sooner had we brought the dray home than the lorry went back for the rust worm to be treated with welding. Something they were both very good at. For the crane problem we asked Andy if one or both of them could possibly come and assess the situation with Goliath as they <coughs> and see what best to do. We discussed the fact that the crane had to be quick and that meant hydraulics which would mean a motor to produce the power for the hydraulic drive. We had all this in our two Ford Power Major tractors. In fact the year before Andy had rebuilt the engine on Tractor 1. It was decided that this would be the best bet. That is to convert Tractor 1 to a mobile crane capable of lifting Goliath from any position and any place he could possibly fall. Andy and his wife Michelle came down to Northcote the very next weekend, on the Friday evening in fact. We were able to look at what we had and what we could do with it. Andy is, in a word, innovative. He can see just what could be achieved and drew a plan of what the crane would look like mounted on the back of the tractor. A Fordson Major tractor from the late 1950s weighs about three tonnes and could well cope with the job. Mounting the crane on the back would give versatility and would also be easy to see exactly what was going on from the driver's seat. We'd pr primed my ex-employers John H. Rundle at New Bolingbroke with what we had in mind and on Saturday morning Andy and I motored down there in Northcote's old Land Rover Safari. We told them what steel we needed and they cut it all to size for us on their big machines. We chose a three-stage hydraulic ram that would give us push power and height for lifting. We also needed some extra hydraulic controls and hoses. Rundles were the firmer choice because they had everything we needed all under one roof and before 12 noon on that Saturday we had it all loaded and were on our way back to Northcote. Now came the big job of putting it all together. The jib was adjustable with one section inside another, brackets were welded onto the roll frame of the tractor for the main mounts and another to mount the hydraulic ram on the drawbar. During the time I worked for Rundles in the early 1980s I often took my wages in kind and one of these kinds was a large Oxford oil cool stick welder on wheels. This was just what we needed to put everything together. By mid Sunday morning it was all virtually finished and Andy was able to give it a first try. 
We even had old, old Goliath close at hand to explain to him what it was all about. I don't think we ever got round to painting it, and there were some improvements to be made on our original ideas. We even put Goliath into the sling attached to the jib to see how he reacted. He was very cool after things were explained to him, but it was obvious we would need two slings to lift him without bending him. That original sling we'd got from Rundles on the Saturday morning was made from the widest possible pulley belting. This is the stuff used to drive machines using steam engines and machinery pulleys. So before Andy left that Sunday afternoon, we were all set up and capable of lifting the old chap. During the next week, I bought a couple of slings from a firm in Grimsby who built slings for dock cranes. These were indestructible and very wide. We also fashioned a spreader bar to keep the slings apart. All in all, just the job for the horse. In fact, it was not long before we had to use the crane and Jeff and I managed that first lift in about 15 minutes. A huge improvement on that five hour session with the fire engines. The job was simplicity itself. Over the following weeks, we managed to get the time down to about 10 minutes from call out. In fact, the more Goliath got used to his own crane, he would help us by helping to slide the slings under him. There is an actual video of the golly lifter in action in a rather awkward lift in a low building. It was filmed quite by chance when our local Methodist superintendent minister came to visit with his family. He had a video camera and Goliath decided to fall over at the same time. Huge thanks once again to Andy from County Durham. Now then, that's the end of that short story by Cracker Books, written and read by Keith Sanders. If you're watching on YouTube, can you give us a like and uh, think about subscribing to our channel? It all helps us to improve uh, the, the YouTube situation. Then additionally, if you want to have a look at Goliath's own picture storybook, you can download it for free uh, online. Uh, there's a, a link coming up here. It's got lots, lots and lots about Goliath's life and dozens of colour photographs. Uh, it's, it's lovely. It's, we think it's quite good. So do have a look at that. There's the link. Uh, it, the link is actually to our bookcase where there are 10 books, all free to download. So then the Goliath one is one of them. In the meantime, until next time, thank you for being with us.